Hi, I'm Ruby Lopez for Crete Currents. Now today we are at the Bedford Gallery. And you know, the gallery offers public art walk tours. And today we are here with docent Jane Emanuel, who's going to take us on a little private tour. So should we get going? Sure thing, let's go. Well, we're in front of a lovely piece of art right now. But Jane, before we talk about the art, um, talk to us about Walnut Creek's public art program. Sure, I'd love to do that. Walnut Creek's been committed to having public art in the city for a long time, back as far as the 80s. Mm -hmm. And it's a really strong commitment to culture, which I think is just fabulous. There are two sources. One is from the private developers, mm -hmm. and they're required to place a piece of art at their project that is equal to 1% of the construction cost of their mm -hmm. property. And or they can choose to put money into an in-lieu fund instead. We're standing in front of a really cool piece of art right now. Do you have a story behind this one? Well, I have a good story, but I'm going to tell you, Ruby, I'm not going to tell you that story until you come on the public art walking tour. Okay, all right. So our tours, by the way, are uh, Saturday, the third Saturday of the month mm -hmm. at 11 a.m. We run them April through November, and we meet at the Lesher Center for the Arts. And these tours take about an hour. We have four different routes and we'd love to have you and all the listeners come. Perfect, now you are gonna share some tidbits today, but if you want this one, you have to come on the tour, right? right? Okay, <laughs> okay, deal. So, you know, public art can say and do a lot of things, and one of the things that this piece does is tell us a little bit about the history of Walnut Creek. Yoshio Taylor is the artist, and so the artist talked about what this area was like millions of years ago so that the water and the flora and the fauna of the area are represented on there and then at the top we have the grape leaves for lots of grape growing but the really nice thing is that on the very top are students and the connection to this area is that this is actually the location of the first elementary school in Wana Creek. Oh, wow. So I love the fact that he put students at the top. I noticed that there's also a bench around here and this really makes the perfect gathering place for this beautiful piece of art. Yeah, and that's one of the things about public art, to bring people together and have a good time and sitting around and enjoy what they've got to look at as well. Yeah, it's great. Well, we're inside the Walnut Creek Library now, and Jane, you said there are quite a few pieces here, right? There are. There are 40 pieces of art mm -hmm. tucked in and around. You've got to walk around all the aisles to see it. It's kind of a lot of fun, really. Lots to enjoy, and mm -hmm. we're also standing in front of a piece of art, right? Right. Tell me something so interesting about it. Well, they're all made of individual books. They're all handmade books, mm -hmm. and there are 12 shades of of gray, mm -hmm. only 12, okay. and it goes from white to black, and they're arranged in such to create kind of like a mosaic or pixelated picture. And uh, the artist is kind of playing around with the idea mm -hmm. of being quiet in a library, mm -hmm. and today in libraries we have teen rooms and kid rooms and computers and meeting rooms, so it's a much bigger hub of activity than libraries of yeah. old. So it's, it's kind of a little bit of a joke. Yeah, so now we don't have to shh, because it really is a gathering place. So you can right. walk around and enjoy the art as well. That's right. Okay, well let's continue okay. our tour. So this is Fountainhead by Syed Alavi. It's one of our newer pieces in town. And I can't tell you, Jane, I am so excited that you chose to stop here because I have driven by here numerous times and always wondered about this. And I, I'm excited to hear about, you know, yeah. all about this artwork. Well, it's really a fun piece. It's gotten a lot of attention. Everybody who walks by loves yeah. to visit and sit and take a look at it. And interestingly, this piece is one of the first public-private partnership projects in the public art program for Walnut Creek. So that means that the Downtown Business Association, the Mechanics Bank and Wells Fargo Bank and the city all partnered okay. to uh, be able to fund these two fountains. So what was the artist's thoughts behind the piece? Where's the inspiration? Well, he spent a lot of time sitting around and studying Walnut Creek and realizing that this street is a heavily pedestrian street and it would be a good meeting spot and he was thinking that this is water and how in ancient times women would come every morning to the, the fountain in the middle of the town, visit with each other and take their buckets home for the day. 
So that was one of his influences. And then the other one had to do with water as being the source of life. And he thought about in mythological times where Athena, the goddess of wisdom, was to have been born out of Zeus's head. So that started him thinking about head. And he thought about a baby with a fontanelle at the top of the head and growing together and growing wisdom. And so that kind of was the genesis for coming up with this, this wonderful head that we wonder, who is it? Is it coming up out of the water? Is it going down into the water? Uh, it's a very peaceful piece. Many people have wondered whether it's a Buddha or a baby or an old man, which is kind of the fun of art because yeah. you get to think whatever it is that it speaks to you. Mm -hmm. and so that's it's really what, however you interpret it. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, Jane, thank you so much. I really enjoyed this art walk. Well, I enjoyed it too. Thanks for coming. Now, what if our viewers, they you know, were intrigued and they want to come take a part of the artwork? How can they get involved? Well, they can get more information at bedfordgallery.org. And remember that our tours are on the third Saturday of the month at 11 a.m. We meet in front of the Lesher Center for the Arts and uh, we hope to see you then. Yes, Jane, thank you. It was really fun and we hope to see you out here enjoying the walk.